an inductor when connected in a circuit, that connection can be either in series or in parallel. Let us know what will happen to the total current voltage and the resistance values if they are connected in series as well and when it is connected in parallel. So let us look at inductors in series. So let us observe what happens when few inductors are connected in series. Let us consider three inductors with different values which is as shown. Then the total inductance of the circuit having series inductors is equal to the sum of the individual inductances that is if L1, L2 and L3 are the inductance of the coil in the circuit then the total inductance value of the network is given as Lt equal to L1 plus L2 plus L3. Looking at the voltage, the total voltage that appears across a series inductors network is the sum of the voltage drops at individual inductances. If V1, V2 and V3 are the voltage across the inductances L1, L2 and L3 respectively, then the total voltage is given by V equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Let us now calculate the current. The total amount of current that flows through a set of inductors which are connected in series is the same as at all the points throughout the network. If I1, I2 and I3 are the currents across the inductance L1, L2 and L3 respectively, then the total current is given by I which is equal to I1 which is same as I2 which is also same as I3. Let us look at inductors in connected in parallel. Let us observe what happens when few inductors are connected in parallel. Let us consider three inductors with different values as shown. The total inductance. The total inductance of a circuit having parallel resistors is calculated differently from the series inductor network method. Here the reciprocal 1 by L value of the individual inductances are added with the inverse of the algebraic sum to get the total inductance value. If L1, L2, L3 are the inductance of the coil in the circuit, then the total inductance value of the network is given below. That is 1 by Lt will be equal to 1 by L1 plus 1 by L2 plus 1 by L3. From the method we have for calculating the parallel inductance, we can derive a simple equation for two inductors connected in parallel network. It is Lt which will be equal to L1 into L2. It is divided by L1 plus L2. Let us look at the voltage. The total voltage that appears across a parallel inductors network is same as the voltage drops at individual inductances. If V1, V2 and V3 are the voltage across the inductances L1, L2 and L3 respectively, then the total voltage is given by V1 which is equal to V which will be equal to V2 which is equal to V3. So let us look at for the current. The total amount of current entering a parallel inductive network is the sum of all the individual currents flowing in all the parallel branches. The inductance value of each branch determines the value of the current that flows through it. If I1, I2 and I3 are the current across the inductance L1, L2 and L3 respectively, then the total current is given by I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Hence, the sum of the individual currents in different branches obtain the total current in a parallel network. Let us discuss about inductive reactants. What happens when you apply an alternating or an AC voltage across an inductor? When an AC voltage is applied across an inductor, the flow of current behaves differently to that of the applied DC voltage. The effect of a sinusoidal supply produces a phase difference between the voltage and the current waveforms. Now, in an AC circuit, the opposition to the current flow through the coil windings not only depends upon the inductance of the coil, but also the frequency of the AC waveform. Inductive reactance is the opposition which is offered by an inductor to the alternative current flow or simply we can call it as AC current. An inductor has the property of resisting the change in the flow of the current and hence it shows some opposition which can be termed as reactance as the frequency of the input current should also be considered along with this resistance it offers. XL is its indication, units is ohm, symbol is ohm. 
In a purely inductive circuit, the current IL lacks the applied voltage by 90 degrees. Inductive reactance is calculated by XL which is equal to 2 pi FL where F is the frequency of the signal. Hence, inductive reactance is a function of the frequency and the inductance.